Hey guys, welcome to Hops and Brews. Uh, I'm John. I brought my brother Steve along. Hey. Uh, we are doing another trip in the woods. Alright, this time we have the Beer de Garde. This beer comes in at a 9.8%. A 19 IBU untapped gives it an average rating of 3.94. Yeah. Uh, this is a Belgian style aged in port barrels. Got some layered flavors of straw, fruit, oak, uh, and the unique spice notes of traditional Belgian yeasts. It does smell, it kind of has that Belgian yeast smell to it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Not, not super potent. A little safe. But it definitely has that, that's that, a, that multi, yeah, multi, multi Belgian, -y, multi -Belgian -y. sweet caramel yeah. candy type of. Yes, exactly. So, caramel so. candy is kind of a, like a Belgian caramel candy, something yeah. ca coated in caramel. Yeah. Very slight tartness. There is almost a little oakiness, but I don't really taste a whole lot of port wine. No. And you know, though, that that could hide itself. Port's very strong, sweet, sweet wine. Yeah. That could hide itself in that Belgian yeast yeah. flavor that we're getting. Carbonation is a little... It's a little on the flat, yeah, flat yeah, side. Flat but side, but it's got a really nice little color to it. It's uh -huh. not too bad in clarity. You know, you can kind yeah. of see through the glass. Yeah, definitely. But uh, I can see my fingers with some light. Yep. But yeah, definitely the tartness kind of kind of died down. I'm starting to enjoy the beer a little bit more because yeah. this is, the sweetness is definitely coming through more. Those those Belgian estery type of spicy notes to it are, are really coming yeah. through. I'm not really I'm not really tasting a whole lot of the port wine or any oak or, or no, any no. barrel aging. It's it's just starting to taste like a really good Belgian beer. Yeah, that's really all it is. Um, but I don't hate Belgian beers. I love them. No, I love so this. Is, beers. This is why I'm kind of like yeah more. But yeah, no, I don't. I don't taste any any uniqueness uniqueness to this really. Um, it just yeah, it just tastes like a really solidly good Belgian beer. Yeah. It's malty. It's it's got some nice Belgian notes to it. I really like yeah, that. Yeah, it's it's very good. It's a solid Belgian style beer. I don't necessarily think I would buy it again. No. Uh, if I were in the mood for something like this, I'd just go out and get a really nice a Belgian. really nice Belgian beer. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really tasting any of the distinct flavors that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. They're talking about straw flavor, oak, fruit. Yeah. Uh, I'm not getting any of that, especially the oak, the port wine. I'm not really getting no. any of that. As it warmed up, the uh, maltiness really over yeah. overpower yeah. everything. It's a good beer. Mm -hmm. uh, really enjoying it, but yeah, it just nothing, nothing too special no. about it. Yeah, if if beers were Mortal Kombat characters, this would be Johnny Cage. Kind of forgettable, um, middle of the road. Looks like a generic '90s character. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's I could see that. Yeah, average yeah. Belgian beer, basically. Well, I wouldn't say average. It actually is a very nice style of Belgian beer. Yeah. It's just for the additive of them calling it it's a barrel age series. I don't think it really yeah. that it, it, does really anything for it. Yeah, I, I think it is a good if you, if you really like Belgian beers. Then yeah, I would definitely give it a try. Um, but I don't think it brings anything special to the table. No, no. I I think I've had enough standard Belgian beers mm -hmm. that taste. Just as good as this. If not better. If not better. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers, everybody. Pomegranate, that Darjeeling tea. Darjeeling. I'm betting this is going to taste like crap. <laughs>